Let's look at how to configure basic single area OSPF for an IP version 4 network. So here we have a setup. I have a couple of routers. This one here is my border router and this one over here is my well, other router inside. So I want to configure OSPF for these two routers. So I start with this router and I get in here and I go into my privilege mode. And then from my privilege mode, I can see that the IP addresses are already configured. There is a static route. There are a couple of other interfaces all configured, but there's no routing protocols going in place. So I can do a show run, see this as well. IP addresses, nothing else. All right. So now I want to configure OSPF. So the first thing I have to do is get into my global configuration mode. So comp T and from here I can have in router OSPF and then a process number. It doesn't matter what number it is. It doesn't really matter if there are different numbers in different routers, but I'll go with number 10. Once I'm in here, I want to set the router ID. Now automatically it will choose an IP version for address and it starts with, um, if I use the router ID command, I'll use that. If not, it will use the highest loopback address. And if none of those are available, it will use the highest IPv4 address as the ID of the router. Now, if one of the interfaces goes down, that has the IP address, then that will change the router's ID, which could cause problems. So we usually set the router ID manually. So I can use the router ID command 1.1.1.1 and just set a router ID. Then I need to add in all of my networks. So you can see this router is connected to three different networks. There is the 192.168.0.0.25, and 192.168.0.128.25. So I will add these in there. And the way you do that is you use the network command, network, and you tell it which network you want to add. So 192.168.0.0 and I have to give it a mask in the wildcard format. So it's a slash 25, which is usually 255, 255, 255, 128. I just take a bunch of 255, subtract that from it, and I get 0 .0 0 0.0.0.127. 0 .0 so 0 .0 0.0.0.127. And then I tell which area this interface will be in. So interface zero well area zero i take the next interface now so my gigabit zero zero which is network 1.0.0.0 and it's slash 30 so it should be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3 area zero and you network 192.168.0.128 and my wildcard, once again, is 0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.127. Area 0. Okay, so all of my interfaces have now been entered into area 0. The next thing I want to do is probably prevent my internet and my internal DMZ LAN from becoming part of the OSPF. So in order to do that, I do passive interfaces. Passive interface g0 slash 0 and passive interface g0 slash 2. So now they are both passive interfaces. The only one that's active is the g0 slash 1. And now I go to my other router and I configure it as well. Once again I go into my privileged mode and then go to global configuration mode. So call t this one has two interfaces and we can look at it and we can see they're 192.168.0.0 the same slash 25 as the other one as the first router and it also has an internal network so i will go into my router ospf and i use a process number give me any number i want it does not be the same the router id and it should not be the same as the previous router so i do 2.2.2.2 and I need to set in the networks. Network 192.168.0.0 with a wildcard mask of 0.0.0.127. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 
area zero. I do another network, network 192.168.1.0 with a wildcard mask of 0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 0 .0 area zero. Now that last line could be kind of annoying because in the middle of the line, you can see that I suddenly became neighbors with the border router, but you can just keep typing. And if you are not convinced that you did right, you can always press the up arrow and check it and make sure it's all correct. At this point, I have an internal LAN. So my G0 slash one is an internal LAN and I want to make sure that one is passive interface. So I do passive interface G0 slash one. So now the LAN will not be seeing my OSPF packets. At this point, I can exit out. Exit out here. And I can use show IP route. I can see all my routing, all my routes. And you can see that I am learning routes from the other side. I can filter this just the OSPF. Let's see that I have learned the two routes on the other side. And the other router has done the same. So that is how you configure basic single area OSPF for IPv4 networks. Just indicate all the interfaces that are part of the, or all the networks that are part of the OSPF routing protocol.